can help shine a light of hope for those suffering from blood cancers across our area. This Saturday, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Light the Night is going virtual and COIN6 is a proud community partner. And cancer doesn't quit just because we're in a pandemic, so support needed now more than ever. This morning, we want to help highlight one local woman's battle with cancer and how she is beating the odds. Joining us live this morning, leukemia survivor Brenna Sky Messner and her parents, Bill and Melissa. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us and, and for getting up early here. Brenna, I know you're, you're home this week, uh, so you can take part in, in Light the Night. Uh, tell us a little bit about your story. Um, um, April of 2017, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, and I had over nine months of treatment where each round, I had five rounds, I was inpatient for five to six weeks, and it I also had brain surgery and it was a long journey. I had to be taken out of school and I lost a lot of friends, but I was lucky and I was able to pull through. Yeah, wow. I mean, a cancer diagnosis can be just, it can rock a family really, and it, it can be so unexpected. So how has LLS helped your family get through this time? Well, LLS has turned into uh, <laughs> my family at this point. They gave us a lot of resources and they've been there every step of my journey since we met them. They've helped. They gave us, yeah. they gave us a way to participate and do something. I think a lot of times you feel helpless. So Doran Becker and family and doctors and nurses, we have a whole new tribe we didn't even know about and people we've always had in our lives come together. But LLS was something we weren't aware of. Um, but when we did discover them, they gave us a way to do something. They have powerful research. I'm on the board now with them. They have powerful research and they have caregiving and support for caregivers, patients, and legislative advocacy because to do something is so important in a time like this. And we've been blessed to be part of that. And it gives us an opportunity to beat cancer. Right, to give and to really do something. They gave yeah. us a lot of hope in a time where we didn't really have a lot of hope. Oh, absolutely. And I think any anyone who uh, has had this uh, either personally or in their family who's faced a blood cancer diagnosis knows that some of the outcomes have changed so drastically over the years. And, and that is thanks to all of the research and the treatment uh, that LLS is largely helping to fund. Uh, I know it's it's probably been a difficult year for, for many charities with everyone staying home and things looking so different. So uh, what are your plans for the virtual Light the Night this year? Well, I think the one thing that's the pandemic has given us is given an opportunity to get outside of the Portland metro area. So we have people giving um, resources from the East Coast and you know down south. We have a lot more people to uh, help donate to this cause. And then for us, we're going to have a local celebration here. Um, social distance, of course, but we'll do our mini light the night. We'll have the program on through uh, virtually that LS is putting on from seven to eight this Saturday. But we'll have some friends and neighbors holding the lantern here in our neighborhood. And doing our own walk so people can be part of it here safely. Yeah, yeah it's such a cool idea. I know we're not going to see the crowds on the Tilikum, mm -hmm. you know, this year that we've seen in years <laughs> past, but you still get the really cool lanterns and you can light up your neighborhood. And, and it sounds like uh, across the country potentially Absolutely. too, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so, so how can people, you know, get involved? Is it too late to sign up? Uh, how can they get involved in this on Saturday? No, you can absolutely still do that. Um, we have a website that we can tell you or we can put on the screen, however you want to, to do that. But well, people can still donate and they can donate after Saturday as well. And every dollar helps. Yes, I know we're going we're gonna to link to the LLS website. If you want to sign up, donate, support a team that's already been fundraising, we'll put all that at coin.com. Before we Perfect. go, guys, how, how important is this continued support for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society as a family whose life has been forever changed by the work they do? Um, wh why should people still continue to support right now? I, I, well, I just want to say one thing that's important is we have one of the only children's initiatives. No one focuses on children the way LLS is right now. And with being at Doran Becker, we saw the need for this. Um, out of the children with AML, Brenna's kind of cancer at the time, she's the only survivor from Doran Becker from spring mm. 2017. Wow. wow. So AML itself and children are huge initiatives for us right now, and I think that's a powerful thing. Well, also my uncle, who was my mentor throughout treatment, just recently passed away from AML. Mm, so it's sorry. still very heavy in our hearts, and it, it affects everyone. You don't 
blood cancer you can't really run from. So. And that, like you said at the beginning, it hasn't stopped. It's because there's a pandemic, cancer is still happening. Right. And right now it's even harder because you don't have an immune system when you're on treatment. So a lot of people are fighting alone. They are not allowed to have family in the hospital. So, yeah. so everything's different. So we need to Any way we can show support is, is like even more important now than ever. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is our chance to, to show that virtual support for everyone and uh, help to create a world with more outcomes like yours, Brenna. So thank you all for being here this morning. We so appreciate getting to talk to you and enjoy uh, light the night and your walk around the neighborhood on Saturday. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank Absolutely. You. Again, remember light the night happening this Saturday, October 17th. We're going to put all that information at coin.com so you can donate and support.